Good evening, I'm Shogun Mohammed and this is the 7 o'clock news. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Saeed of Oman, marking his country's national day. His Majesty the King wished His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Saeed abundant health and happiness and a brotherly peop Omani people further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad lauded the depth of the Bahraini Omani relations, wishing bilateral ties further progress. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco, marking his country's Independence Day. His Majesty the King wished King Mohammed abundant health and happiness and the brotherly Moroccan people of further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad lauded the depth of the Bahraini Moroccan relations, wishing bilateral ties further progress. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa on the great success of BIAS 2018. His Royal Highness the Premier expressed heartfelt congratulations to His Majesty the King on the tremendous success of the fifth edition of the exhibition, which was held under the auspices of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness described the success as a new achievement for Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the great success of BIAS 2018. His Royal Highness expressed heartfelt congratulations to His Majesty the King on the success of the show, which was held under the patronage of His Majesty the King, and received every support from His Majesty the King since its launch. His Royal Highness described the royal support as an incentive to achieve distinction and excellence in organizing the event and promoting it. He also praised the efforts of the organizing committee under the chairmanship of the personal representative of His Majesty the King, Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to promote BIAS as one of the key international fairs. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable from His Majesty the King's personal representative and chairman of the Supreme Organizing Committee of the Bahrain International Air Show, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad extended sincere thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his unlimited support for BIAS 2018, which was held at Sakhir Air Base in the presence of official delegations, citizens, residents, and visitors from brotherly and friendly countries. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah extended deepest congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad on the outstanding success of the mega international event, which adds to the multiple landmark achievements attained by the Kingdom during His Majesty King Hamad's prosperous era. He highly valued His Majesty the King's stances, sound directives, and forward looking visions on supporting all events hosted by the Kingdom. He wished His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness to bring about more progress to the Kingdom. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable from Commander in Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa on the success of the Bahrain International Air Show 2018. In his cable, the Commander in Chief extended heartfelt congratulations and best wishes for the great success of the air show held in Bahrain in its fifth edition and its excellent preparation and organization. He wished His Majesty continued health and happiness and to Bahrain further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa today issued a circular on the holiday of Prophet Muhammad's peace be upon him birth anniversary. The circular stipulates the kingdom's ministries and public institutions will all be closed on Tuesday, November 20th. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Saeed of Oman, marking his country's national day. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a similar cable to the Deputy Prime Minister for Cabinet Affairs, Sayyid Fahad bin Muhammad Al Saeed. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco, marking his country's Independence Day. His Royal Highness Prime Minister sent a similar cable to his Moroccan counterpart, Saad al-Din al-Uthmani.
the personal representative of His Majesty the King, Chairman of the Higher Organizing Committee of Bahrain International Airshow, Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of thanks to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, in which he expressed appreciation and gratitude to His Royal Highness for his cable, hailing His Royal Highness's unlimited support to the Bahrain International Airshow 2018. He congratulated His Royal Highness on the success of the air show, wishing him continued health and happiness. Earlier, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable to Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the great success of BIAS 2018. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed heartfelt congratulations on the success of the fifth edition of the show, which is held under the auspices of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness praised the efforts of Sheikh Abdullah in this respect, which brought about a new achievement for the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of good wishes to His Majesty Sultan Qabus bin Saeed of Oman, marking his country's national day. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince sent a similar cable to Amani Deputy Premier for Cabinet Affairs, Sayyid Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Saeed. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of good wishes to His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco, marking his country's Independence Day. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a cable from His Majesty the King's personal representative and chairman of the Supreme Organizing Committee of the BIAS 2018, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad extended sincere thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his unlimited support. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah extended deepest congratulations to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for the outstanding success of the mega international event, which was lauded by official delegations, aviation companies and investors, noting that BIAS adds to multiple landmark achievements. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad stated that he will harness all potentials to boost the national economy in various fields, stressing his support for the efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to bring about more progress and prosperity to the Kingdom. He wished His Royal Highness the Crown Prince success in achieving the aspirations of the Bahraini people for more development and progress under the leadership of His Majesty the King. He wished His Royal Highness the Crown Prince abundant health and happiness and the Kingdom everlasting progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, had sent a cable to the personal representative of His Majesty the King and Chairman of the Higher Organizing Committee of the BIAS, Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the great success of the BIAS 2018. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressed heartfelt congratulations on the success of the fifth edition of the exhibition, which is held under the auspices of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He praised the efforts of Sheikh Abdullah in this respect, which brought about a new achievement to the Kingdom of Bahrain. The President of the Republic of Chechnya, Ramadan Ahmed Qadirov, paid a visit to the Royal Guard. Upon his arrival, Qadirov was welcomed by the Commander of the Royal Guard, His Highness Major General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and Commander of the Royal Guard Special Force, His Highness Lieutenant General Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. يشرفنا فخامة الرئيس في هذا اليوم المبارك أن نستضيفك بوحدة الحرس الملكي بين أبطال قوة الدفاع الذين يقومون بكامل واجباتهم داخل وخارج مملكة البحرين وهذه هي أمانة في أعنقنا إلى يوم الدين وإنما هذا والعمل 
في هذه المؤسسة هو شرف لنا جميعا وأمنية لنا جميعا أن نلتحق بهؤلاء الشهداء الذين أضحوا بدمائهم نصرة للدين والحق واليوم في ضيافة فخامتكم في وحدة الحرس الملكي يتشرف جميع ضباط وأفراد هذه الوحدة بلقائكم شخصيا والجميع يفخر بما تقومون به من بطولات والجميع قلبا وقالبا معكم والله ولي التوفيق Then the commander of the Royal Guard briefed the president of Chechnya on the weapons developed by the Bahrain Defense Force and the Ministry of Interior, which are used by members of the Royal Guard for their military duties. The president of Chechnya expressed his admiration for these weapons. Qadirov also witnessed a number of field exercises carried out by members of the Royal Guard Special Force, which included the use of various types of weapons, where he expressed his admiration for the military exercises which reflect the high level of coordination and integration in the performance and the high skill level, praising their professionalism and readiness. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the Bahrain Athletics Association, and Honorary President of Mixed Martial Arts Federation, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and the President of the Chechen Republic, Ramadan Ahmed Qadirov, and the international player Habib Nur Mohammadov attended competitions of Brave 18 Championship yesterday at Khalifa Sports City. Also present were their Highnesses and Excellencies, dignitaries and a number of officials. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa welcomed the Chechen President's visit to the Mixed Martial Arts Championship, which confirms his keenness to support Mixed Martial Arts sport, which is spreading rapidly in the world in general and in Chechnya in particular, noting that the support of President Qadirov for the sport in his country contributed to the emergence of many fighters. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Khalid praised the constructive cooperation between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of Chechnya, especially the mixed martial arts, as Bahrain and Chechnya have a unique and successful experience in this sport. He said the Bahrain version of the championship is the best in all respects and highlights a new station which is the great and distinguished levels presented by fighters from different countries. He said the sport of mixed martial arts has proved to be progressing in a gradual process thanks to the unified work of all international federations and fighters who are exerting great efforts to develop their technical and physical levels. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed his heartfelt congratulations to the winners of the tournament in which the fighters presented great levels of excellence. His Highness expressed his pride in the victory of national team fighter Hussein Ayad on the Brave Championship yesterday stressing that this outstanding level confirms the great position of the mixed martial arts sport in the kingdom.
For the fourth time in the Kingdom, Brave Combat Federation brings 24 professional fighters competing in various weights and categories, crossing different countries under one roof to compete in the biggest week in the history of MMA. It's always great to come back to your own country and uh, host the show for the country. We go always around the world and come back at the end of the year and uh, give the best of the year's show to Bahrain. But it's even more exciting because it's not only about Bahrain. We are here with the largest mixed martial event of Asia. If you look at it, we have Khabib Nurmagomedov, we have the President of Chechnya here, we have Sean O'Malley here, we have Jarrah Salawi here, we have Shawdi Torres here. We have the biggest names in mixed martial art here. Everybody's here to enjoy it. We have celebrities, movie stars, singers. Uh, it's, it's, it's actually the greatest event I've, I've ever seen on television as an MMA fan. So I'm proud that we put on the show. I would like to thank Hassan Sheikh Khalid for putting on the show. And uh, I'm sure the whole Bahrain MMA community is proud, sports community is proud. We have one behind the fighter, Hussein Ayyad. Every year, Hassan Sheikh Khalid has put on a platform for amateur fighters. So we have the amateur fighters you see the whole week. Uh, Bahraini fighters doing so good. We got 10 medals this year. Uh, so next year we'll see one more Bahraini in the pro professional level. So Hussein Ayad was the professional that came from our last year's amateur uh, amateur circuit. So uh, it's his beginning times. He's just he's not Hamza Kohiji's position yet. Hamza has been professional for five years. Uh, Hussein Ayad is professional for I think one year. So it's just new for him. He's trying to adapt to it. This is the biggest event Hussein has been in. The Khalifa Sports City Arena was the stage for another historical milestone for Brave Combat Federation. Bahrain's former IMAF World Championship medalist, Hussein Ayad, who lived up to his nickname Iron by exceeding expectations and emerging a victor of the cage, scoring a new record and honoring his country. First, guys, I will tell you something for all the Bahrainis and all my fans. Without you, I'll not be here. And of course, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad, like with all the support he's given me and my coaches, I want to say thank you from my heart for everyone who worked with me for this fight and for all the Bahrainis. Thank you so much. The arena saw a massive inflow of fans, MMA icons and world celebrities, all present to witness and experience the action, excitement and entertainment of all 12 fights. In Bahrain, led by Shi Khalid, uh, I, I think it's going to the top. I mean, with all the, uh, the fans and the people who love fighting in this area and the growth of MMA and the growth of Brave, I think it can go to the top. Uh, it goes as big as it wants to go because we have a great support and great fans. So far, it's been, been a lot of fun. The weigh-ins last night were awesome. And I think it's going to grow pretty fast. It seems like the, they got it put together really well, so I, would, you know, I expect it to, to, to get big fast. Brave 18 has grown to become a global phenomenon, placing the kingdom in the map and providing a stepping stone for the sport to be represented in the region. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. The representative for His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, bid farewell to the President of Chechnya, Ramadan Ahmed Qadirov, after concluding his visit to the Kingdom. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that Bahrain has deep-rooted relations with Chechnya and they witnessed remarkable development in light of the vision of His Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, and his keenness on bolstering Bahraini-Chechen cooperation in various fields and the keenness of the Chechen President to further develop them. His Highness added that the visit of the Chechen president to Bahrain is an opportunity to review the friendly relations and cooperation between the two countries and further strengthen them in all fields to serve the common goals and aspirations. For his part, President Qadirov extended thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his hospitality, commending the deep-rooted relations between Chechnya and Bahrain in various fields. The Chechen president hailed Bahrain's advancement and the success of the events it's hosting including the Bahrain International Air Show and the Mixed Martial Arts World Championships. In the presence of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee's Chairman, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, and the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Deputy Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. 
The Russian Equestrian and Horse Racing Club today held the second race for the season, 2018-2019, at its Royce Horsing in Rafa Sghir. Also attending the race were Sheikh Sultan al-Din bin Muhammad bin Salman al-Khalifa, Sheikh Hamad bin Abdullah bin Isa al-Khalifa, Sheikh Khalid bin Isa bin... Bin Ali bin Isa al-Khalifa, Sheikh Nadir bin Muhammad bin Salman al-Khalifa, Sheikh Nuh bin Muhammad bin Salman al-Khalifa, Sheikh Ali bin Muhammad bin Salman al-Khalifa, and horse racing fans. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman presented the winners of the Safra Cup for Arabian Horses to the winning team rider Alan Smith, while the race's supervisor Khalid Tawfiq al-Alawi presented the late Sayyid Sharaf al-Alawi Cup to the winning rider Alan Smith, while accredited committee member Yusuf Al Isa presented the accredited cup to the rider Ali John.
in accordance with the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to improve the flow of traffic on the main roads. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Islam Khalaf, said the ministry has completed construction works to develop the Mahzura Avenue interchange and Istiqlal Avenue. The works are part of the second phase of world's improvement to ease traffic congestions at vital intersections. He noted the project aims to enhance the traffic flow on Mahzura Avenue, which will contribute to easing traffic congestions, especially during peak times. It will also provide easy access for traffic turning right from Mahzura Avenue, leading towards Istiqlal Avenue. The project also includes the development of five lanes, two lanes for turning left, two lanes for turning east towards Avenue 47, as well as one lane for turning right on Istiqlal Avenue. He pointed out that the number of drivers using the street daily reaches approximately 50,000 at peak hours. Meanwhile, the project will reduce the queuing time on Mahzura Avenue by 28% and will enhance the efficiency of interchange op operation by around 15%. The Minister of Information Affairs, Ali bin Mohammed Al-Ramehi, praised the success of the Bahrain International Air Show in its fifth edition, which reflects Bahrain's reputation to host international events, and the success is added to the successive developmental achievements during the prosperous era of His Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa Al-Khalifa. Al-Ramehi extended heartfelt congratulations to His Majesty the King, the government headed by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the people of Bahrain on the occasion of the success of this international show. The minister expressed his pride in the comprehensive and diverse coverage of the air show in various radio and television channels, newspapers and local, regional and international news agencies, and with the participation of 250 employees from the Ministry of Information Affairs, which contributed to highlighting the kingdom's status as an oasis for security, peace and stability, a world-class tourist, economic and investment destination, and a pivotal hub for international exhibitions and conferences. The Minister of Information Affairs affirmed that the achievements of the Bahrain International Air Show in the Sghir Air Base are a success of the Kingdom of Bahrain under the patronage of His Majesty the King.